Now let's work on the concept of producer surplus in this video and we'll see the, the analogy, the, the similarity between this and the consumer surplus. So in simple words, what would be producer surplus? That is the benefit to the sellers, the producers, by selling goods at a price higher than the marginal cost of production marginal cost of production i'm going to show it on a graph now of course the the people that are selling the apples we're going to stick to the same uh, apples example same graph same numbers now we are working with the sellers the sellers have their supply curve the supply curve shows the willingness to sell it shows at what prices the, the sellers are willing to provide the apples. Now, we can see that this belongs to the marginal cost curve. The marginal cost curve corresponds to our supply curve. So the supply curve in this case shows us how much it costs the seller, the producer, to get to the market an additional kilo of apples, you know, by harvesting it, by transporting it and so on. Now, what we can see is that until the seller provides the consumers with the five kilos, because that is the equilibrium quantity, that is the equilibrium quantity that clears the market. That's when all customers are satisfied. So the seller provides these five kilos of apples and he sells them at three euros, three euros per kilo. But for him to produce those five, those five kilos, it costs him less because in the beginning for the first for the first kilo of apples, it cost him very little. It cost him maybe 50 cents. For instance, 50 cents, it cost him to produce just one kilo of apples. You know, it was, it was pretty easy to, to harvest and to transport them. Then it was slightly harder to collect the second, the second ki uh, kilo of apple, the third, the fourth, and so on. So we can see that his cost of harvesting and delivering it's increasing. That's why the marginal cost is going up. It's becoming harder and harder to satisfy the market, to provide more and more quantity. And still, for all these units, he's covering his marginal cost. And on top of that, he's covering all this difference, all this markup, so to say, that he's charging a price higher than his cost of production. So for every difference between the quantity that he's selling, um, so for every difference for the quantity that he's selling between the price that he's charging and the cost of production that his benefit that is what we're talking about that is the producer surplus hope this makes sense and hope you see the analogy between producer surplus and consumer surplus so it's the difference between the marginal cost of production and the price that he is charging and that would be it now let me just zoom out one more time to see the really big picture producer surplus and consumer surplus on one graph hold on why this is not working yes producer surplus and consumer surplus you can see that they're both they're both areas they're both some graphs and in this case i drew the producer surplus in a way that it's curvy but of course uh, when we solve questions it's easier to just do it with a line because it's, it's it's the same triangle area that we can calculate just like in consumer surplus so i hope this makes sense have a look at both of them uh, in combination understand the difference and understand just the common sense behind it and we are done.